Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, September 14th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat, which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room. I've got that full screen. Boom! On my screen. It's over there on monitor where we can see ourselves. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter. And I'll tell you why it doesn't matter. Best lower third. Best lower right there. third. And this is a technical achievement. Let's all just take a moment and appreciate the genius that is our lower third, which is slightly off center today. Huh. Air fresheners that smell like beer. That's a great idea. Nope. Horrible idea. Okay. You got. If you want something that smells like beer, you just drink beer. But let's talk about this lower third. It's great. <laughs> yep. Jamie there it Live. is. TV. There Sundays they are. Our lower after third. After the Linux action show. Uh, you guys don't mind. You're a little off skew. We'll know exactly to the second when you commented. We won't <laughs> know what second. hour. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to fix that? <laughs> no. I okay. think it's funny. Do you want me okay. to fix it? Uh, it's, I don't know. Probably. What's going on over you here? You probably should. Wait, I just the chat. Oh, yeah. The me. poopery. The girls don't poop? Uh, no. It's the uh, it's the the stuff that you pour in the toilet so that the stink doesn't come up. All right. Well, so what so are we talking t- about today, Anne? Today, we are talking about th- sites that make you think. The sites that make you go, huh? Five in particular. Um Now, yeah. Or huh. Or, hmm. or like that you could get lost in. You know, kind of like Pinterest was one of them. For, for mostly for women, but um, hmm. anyway, Pinch, pin, Pinterest. Pinterest. So pin, I'm going to start w- with um, now. I'm not familiar with that one. Reddit is a website. Never in heard my of it. brain like Twitter. Like it just it's kind of work. a social network in a way. It doesn't work for my brain, right? But um, there are a couple awesome Reddits that so yeah. I tolerate Reddit. Whoa! Enough because you benefit. Because I I enjoy this content. So what is our first subreddit you want to mention today, Ange? So it is um, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash shower thoughts. Shower thoughts is an awesome subreddit. Love this Do one. Do you want to fix that too? Just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no. How's that lower third? I think my general, look how great that lower third looks though. Look how Oh, I you fix- just got rid of the time altogether. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just moved it over a little bit. I I moved it a little lower. Why would we not have time? Okay. All right. Um, so shower thoughts is really kind of cool. It's it's like things that people think of in the shower and then they put it here. So like, I wonder how many wi- miles I've scrolled on my mouse. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, Wouldn't that be cool? That would be that good would to know. That would be cool to know. I would like that. I want <clears> a Fitbit for my mouse now. Righty tidy lefty loosey also applies to Democrats and Republicans. Oh, wow. Righty tidy lefty loosey. Kind of cool. If you don't do laundry naked, you can never be done with your laundry. <laughs> hey, Ange, I have an idea how we should do our laundry from now on. What do you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, 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 yeah. Or, or, or. I hope Jenny doesn't mind. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't do the laundry when she's around. We would wait till she's yes, not I around. Yes, I do. Oh. Um, well, she wouldn't mind if it's you. So, anyway, so it's just. It's just a ton of yeah. humor and great thoughts. Love shower thoughts. Yeah. Do you, now, so this also, this subreddit was. Like a little bit of, uh, uh, <laughs> do you want to read that one? No. Okay. Uh, you can. I just, uh, it doesn't. ISIS yeah. is like the new expansion pack for Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Um, it was vindicating for me to, to discover shower thoughts because I got the impression that I was the weird one for having like profound thoughts in the shower from time to time. Like mm-hmm. I would treat the showers like that's my thinking den. And I thought, okay, that's weird. That's just me. That's a strange thing. <laughs> But do you ever do that? Arm. Do you ever have yeah. like moments in the shower? You're like, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Um. I, there was something recently that uh, that I thought of in the shower. Oh no, I know. It was the audio newsletter. I thought of that in the shower. That was or maybe lo- I was on the toilet. That was a long time ago. I'm talking like mine happened almost on a daily basis. I had a really big one this morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's a very personal said. nature, so I don't want to tell <laughs> okay. it on air. But I had okay. a really big one this morning. Remind me later. I'll tell you. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I. So, here's the thing. I I think and I know this is a product, but I almost think like a whiteboard in the shower would be like a useful thing sometimes. Mm. Like, you know, that's a really mm-hmm. good idea, you mm-hmm. know? Like, in, or just an intercom that records like a Siri. Hey, Ange. Oh. No, 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 like oh. a Siri. Like yeah, I like like. Uh, uh, hey, Ange. Uh, Chris here from the shower. I just had a really great thought I want to tell you about. <laughs> and then Ange would be like, uh, "Why are you bothering me? I'm sleeping right now." <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. You would need more like Siri or, or Google now in the shower. Yeah. Um, look at this. Uh, I don't actually know the ending to Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue. R- roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue. You make it up. It's whatever you need. And I want to have a Pikachu or whatever, right? Like, you just make it up. <laughs> Somebody's into Pokemon. No, no, I'm just... <laughs> Pikachu is a Pokemon. I know. I know. Look at you know what I know, right? I'm all, like, on it. <laughs> that was... Yeah. I am fast. Yeah. Yeah. You are um, good. Priceless and worthless are synonyms but are op- opposites. 
Um, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Space Jam. This was one I liked last night. I read this one last night. Space Jam. The <laughs> movie Space Jam. Yeah. Was basically made by having Michael Jordan talk to himself and shoot baskets on a green screen. Have you ever seen Space Jam? No. Yeah, it, it is really what that is. Uh, if you run out of battery on an Apple product, technically you ran out of apple juice. Why? Nice. Oh, you need to fix that one too. <laughs> Problem solved. No. <laughs> Jeez, you are so picky. Well, all right, don't. You then. know, you know, uh, a bro could just resize her browser window and uh, solve a problem right there for another bro. I'm just saying that that is a possibility. Uh, here's a good one. I wonder if there's a correlation between being told as a child not to talk to strangers and having trouble meeting and talking to new people as an adult. I don't think so. Mm, maybe you, you think so i don't know can you 3d print a 3d printer yes yeah i know you can make the parts for it yeah yeah um Redbox should team up with pizza shops so that you can get a movie delivered with your pizza is the c-section one on there that's brilliant is yes this, i i skipped that one because it, it's, it's controversial no. ask them no just say it, it doesn't uh matter. i was a, i i was well i was a c-section baby that means i wasn't born i was removed you were a C-section baby? Yeah, I was an emergency C-section baby. Like, n- and not like, mm. like, oh, my mom didn't want me inside her anymore, and so she arranged for me to be cut out on a certain date. I was six weeks early, and she was hemorrhaging, and we both almost died. Whoa. So it was like emergency C-section to the, like... God, you have been so impatient your entire life. Percent, placenta <laughs> previa is what she had. Or uh, I, I thought that was interesting, though, because, yeah, it is a little different. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's um, anyway, a- so you could spend so long on this website just reading about everybody's funny thoughts. I have a couple other Reddit ones I could throw at you if you're cool with that. I don't know if they might cut into ones you've already done. But uh, there's another one that's like really big concepts. And sometimes what I like about it is they're really visual. It's reddit.com slash r slash whoa dude. I think is what it is. Whoa, oh, dude. yeah? Have oh, you been there? And <clears throat> be sure, or lower third, you can totally submit your own um, ideas. <laughs> Whoa, you're still having Yeah, I typed own. the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrong page. You're still looking at it. They link it. So so here's Whoa, dude. And the whole idea about Whoa, dude is like a lot of times it's visual stuff. So, uh, uh, well, that's a great idea. There's Barcel- oh, yeah. the Barcelona yeah. from above. I've like, seen that. Whoa. Yeah. That is We've weird. actually covered that on a previous yeah. faux show. But that's a good example, right? Yeah. Uh, but, okay, but see, this is what I hate about Reddit. What? It's a visual thing, but look, you can't see any of the visuals. You have to click on a button to see the visuals. I just, it should be more Tumblr-like, you know, like where it's... Yeah, but there's a lot of apps, a lot of apps do that for you. Oh, okay. Look at this one, Ange. He's pouring upside down because the plane, look at that, he's upside down. Wow. Is that not a great one? Is that not totally a... Wow. Right? Yeah. That's a woe dude moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, reddit.com slash r slash woe dude has a lot of good stuff, too. No kidding. Um... And then there's like uh, there's a there's like a deep into a uh, Reddit uh, one, and there's also um, oh my gosh, I've got I've got this one up. It's uh, today I learned. Oh, today I learned another good one. T I L today I learned. If you ever see that uh, abbreviation and you don't know what it is, it's today I learned. So today I learned that spaghetti carbonara was once um, considered a poor man's dish because the three main ingredients were the things the peasants were always certain to have on hand: bacon, a little cheese. And eggs. You know, uh, mac and cheese is considered that now. And it's yeah. funny because mac and cheese is like at an all-time popularity. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't surprise me. Today I learned it is estimated that using concrete blocks to build a pyramid, it would take five years and would cost $5 billion. So like, yeah, how do they make those? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, can I show you mine? Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'm going to keep kind of reading. This one is makes you think a lot because it could be one of those that disturbs you a little bit. So I want to give you that disclaimer. This is not for uh, the faint of heart. It's reddit.com slash r slash deep into YouTube. And this is a subreddit dedicated. It's a place to venture into the depths of YouTube and view some of the things you never thought you'd ever see in your life. What? I'm going to risk it and play this one. It sometimes... Mm. I'm gonna. Oh, we we gotta. Do I don't it. want it to be pulled down again. No, no, it's not gonna be pulled down. Oh, that's no, that's 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 Captain Planet smoking a ball. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> all right, Leon, that's not. All right, all right, okay. Let's just. But not. you get the idea. There's some really crazy, crazy, crazy stuff on here. <laughs> uh, huh? And how does it hold get on. onto Romney that playlist? Romney face shrinkage. This seems like it should be safe. People find it on YouTube and they post it here. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, here we go. All right, this is Romney. Okay, there's Romney. Okay, watch, Ange. Are you watching? Okay, so he's answering questions. Yep. And then his face is starting uh. to shrink. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that? That is so <laughs> weird. And then he... <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's, that's, Reddit, that's deep into YouTube on Reddit. Uh, 
Today I learned the sign language equivalent of a tongue twister is known as a finger fumbler. <laughs> nice. Interesting. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is just another another website that you can, or not another website, another one of the, what is it, subreddits, where you can easily- Hold on, scroll down. Scroll down a little what, bit more. What, what, Today what? I learned Disney renamed Rapunzel to Tangled and Snow Queen to Frozen because they blamed feminine titles for underperforming box offices. Interesting. Well, today I learned- yeah. So Rapunzel was named to Tangled and Snow Queen to Frozen. Well, she was still Rapunzel in Tangled. Right. But it was gonna yeah. be named after her though. And and Frozen was gonna be named Snow Queen. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. That's a good one. Yeah. Today I learned the Pyra- pyramids of Gaza Gaza were originally created with uh, my head's in the way. I think it's White Giza. limestone. Giza, yeah, Gaza, Giza. <clears throat> yeah, my head was in the way. I couldn't read that one. Yeah. So anyway. Very Super easy Reddits to to uh, read. Yeah, when you got a few minutes to pull them up on your phone or pull them up on your desktop. And of course, you can contribute to them. That's true. That is true. That is actually kind of a nice aspect of it. All right. All right so what this we got next, next one is kind of like um, kind of like a website. It's kind of I'm um, kind of like Pinterest, but it's a little better. It's about making stuff, and so you can type something like that you have a lot of cardboard. Yeah. And look at. All these different things that people have done with cardboard. That's awesome. Yep. And you can get, you know, inspired ideas and whatever. And it's just, it's anything, really. You know, you could look up a tree house. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, and there's even like, you know, Minecraft tree houses. Try putting like old computers in there or old computer. Just curious what they, okay. if they do anything like that, an old computer. Cool. Okay, making a robot. Old barbecue. Try. Wow, bar- that's a lot of what? Try like a barbecue. I'm just curious whether they got anything for barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Yep. Oh well, cooking. Yeah. yeah. So you could actually get cooking ideas too. Yeah. So it's it's a really cool website. <clears throat> that guy making spaghetti on the barbecue. That's I wonder cool. if um, my backpack wall is on there. Oh yeah, backpack. Nope. No. But um, but that's Negative. okay. Well, <laughs> Negative. Ooh, that's a cool shower curtain. What website is this again? Let's let's. In, it's Instructables. Oh, okay. Instructables.com. Yep. And then yeah, you can, you know. I don't even think I've even heard of this website before. Yeah. I see a Ford logo up in the top. What's that about? I think it's a sponsor. Like a, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and then they have their own Ford. Oh, that's a great idea. So yep. Ford could have their own Ford projects page. Yep. That's a genius way to make money, actually. There it is. Huh. Okay. There you go. Instructables.com. We'll have links in the show notes too, so don't worry about that. You can always go get that. You don't have to worry about the number. Although yep. take uh take uh what is that? Take oh, here we go. two in the chat room's linking it right now. That's cool. Uh Kurgan two thousand one said that um they used instructables to make a cheap lightsaber. Yeah, and Forever End User says, I don't know how you didn't know about them before. He says, Look up rockets and solar ovens and stuff. They have oh. everything. Awesome. Yeah. So very cool. All right, Andrew, what is our next website that'll make you go, huh? Our, oh, hey, Goat Herder represent. Go um, herder. The next one is This Is Why I'm Broke. Oh, jeez. And I love I love that their It's a serial code. Banner a serial bar, is a, a barcode. Yeah, is a barcode yeah. with This Is Why I'm Broke. It's perfect font and everything. Plus this <laughs> Um <laughs> So it is just all the stuff that you want, Batman but break you light. shouldn't, that you shouldn't buy. Color changing shower head. Yep. Ooh. I love this. I Look like at the this. Nintendo Game wrist, Boy dress. Wrist watch post-it notes. So what's cool about this is that when you click on the product that you want, it takes you to where you can buy it. Oh, of course, with their affiliate ID, I'm sure. But that's uh, yes. good on them. But yeah, it's so this is a wrist post-it huh. note. And so then you can put it around your wrist can after you, you write on it. Okay. So it's like instead of writing on your hand even. Yeah. Go back to that uh, Game Boy uh, dress there. No, it's not flattering at all. Oh, I thought it was all right. I thought your mom might like these. She likes swords. Your mom? Sword. Your what mom. is that? A coffee table yes. aquarium? Yes. Is that a thing you can buy? $660. Can you yep. can you make it bigger? I want to see that. No. Hey, Ange. Free, hey, Ange. Free lighting, free extension cord, free decorative plants, free two-stage submersible filter pump. Hey, hey Ange. <laughs> um, no. I, no. Nope. Oh, Ange. Nope. God, but it comes with a pump. Oreo dunking spoon. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is another website where you can spend a long time. I kind of want to get these portable nightlight globes. Those are cool. Yeah. yeah. What's that fire one? That's uh, a fire extinguisher lighter. Oh, yeah. Fire That's extinguisher great. lighter. A floating shark. Those are legit. Um, poop soap bars. There you go. How about that? $13 Look handmade. That. Made on Sold via Amazon. Om nom nom. With corn in the poop. I wonder what 
it would uh, smell like. It says, on the, actually, said, it says. It says in the description, if you read it, it says that it smells wonderful. But, see where it says but? in the ca- yeah. oh, See where they wrote but in all yeah. capitals? If you read that sentence, it talks about the smell, I think. What does it say? I don't, I don't see. But smells oh. awesome. Good enough to eat. Just like dessert. <laughs> so. No. There you go. Um, Batman snuggle blanket. Yep. I like the cassette tape iPhone case. Yeah, I like the Batman snuggle blanket more. Those inflatable balls. Hey, cool. Yeah. We, but we $400. Oh. We did that at the Evergreen State Fair recently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here you go. A toilet bowl coffee mug. Yeah, I guess I could go <laughs> with my poop soap. Yep. I guess that'd be all right. Huh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the snuggle pillow. I like the snuggle pillow. Oh, this is... Oops, not that. Dang oh, it. yeah. Oh, This yeah. is for Seth. There you go, Seth. The uh, whiskey stones. Yep. Oh, to, to chill your whiskey and not water it down. Yep. Yep. Those we've talked about those I think once before maybe yep. a long time but ago. But these ones are specifically for whiskey. Yeah, whiskey and on the rocks. And you can get frustration free packaging on the rocks. Get it, inch. Uh, yeah. Get it, inch. So anyway, there's just tons of really innovative. Is that a motorcycle? Uh, no way you can Tron buy that. A Tron motorcycle for Shut fifty-five thousand dollars. From where? Click it. Where's you buying it from? Wait, it's not Amazon. You should play that video. Discontinued. Oh, I want a Tron motorcycle. <laughs> All right, very good. This is why I'm broke. dot com. Yep, that's a good one. Um, so you know what I had read is um, Jim Carrey was offered to be the eighth Doctor Who, and he declined. Bull crap. I read that on the Today I Learn site. Yeah. Yeah, bull crap. <laughs> no okay. way. Okay. No way. Is that possible, chat room? Is that possible that Jim Carrey was offered to play Doctor Who? Wow, gins and Titanic. You can have a sinking ship, <laughs> keeping your <laughs> beverage cold. Oh, my gosh. That's so horrible. Boy, we have gotten callous in our old age. We have gotten <sighs> That okay. would have been great, says WikiLeaks. If Jim Carrey, uh, Juicy Brain says, how could Jim Carrey refuse work? Kerbin says, he's not British. Uh, Stir Fry Kitty says, I don't believe that. Uh, Kurgan says, no way in heck is that possible. Anonymous says, 8 Doctor was one of the film, off film. Uh, WikiLeaks says, that jerk. Evan Lynch says, no. I kind of want to buy these. Rikai says he had never heard of Doctor Who until being offered the role of the eighth Doctor in Doctor Who, which was a key factor in turning down the role as he felt he could cause outrage amongst Doctor Who fans who wasn't played by a Doctor Who fan. Rikai says it's true. Wow. Eric, we know about the bacon and cheese stuff, pizza crust. <laughs> you just vibrated that. Um, all right. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like right now during yes, the show? Yes, I just saw, yeah. Um, I like, that's our production stuff. Like, guys, guys. Pizza. <laughs> pizza it has bacon and cheese stuff crust pizza. And I know you're recording, but um, actually, I, I have it. I don't know if he is watching, but um, so these offensive business cards, I, I would really like to get. Yeah. For $15, it says, hey, you suck at parking. Oh, no. Up yours. <laughs> no, you would use this too much. Okay, learn how to park. You expletive um next time i'm going to keep your expletive idiot <laughs> so that's awesome i think you'd uh, come home with a black eye no well no you just you do it while they're not watching all right the next one is bad astronomy oh you love bad astronomy i don't know but i don't know anything about it well bad astronomy is kind of like uh it's 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 good astronomy stuff for people who are maybe not space experts but mm-hmm. you're casually interested like i am mm-hmm it's just a lot of really good provoking thoughts. And he's been doing it for a really long time. I can't remember his name. I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name right now. But I followed him for a really long time. Um, and he's been in some podcasts, too. Like, there's the Psy Show. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Is it Phil Fate? Phil. I Phil. I don't know about his last name. Phil sounds right. Well, this is the guy that writes all these articles. Hmm. But, um, so, what's interesting, though, yeah, anytime you read about space, hey, look at this, they've got a Doctor Who thing about, um, on this, uh, bad oh, astronomy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, oh, last yeah. night, there was, where is that? There it is. There are. There was a meteorite. This is a great story because how often do you actually get to see one of these things I happen? got Edge to see one. Night. Yeah. I was driving and I saw it and I grabbed my phone and I, I had my phone up while I was watching it and I switched to video and I hit start and it disappeared. It just <laughs> it burned was, out. Um, it was like four and a half seconds is is how long people saw it and in the city that i was in i it i honestly thought that only people in that city were going to report it so i didn't even actually go to twitter because it was or so the large stations. you thought it must yeah. be close 
Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it was. It looked close, right? Because it was big and it was like right it, there in the sky. It must have been huge and so, lighting it up. Yeah, that's crazy. And um, and you know, so so here were my thoughts. Like, uh, so I slowed down. Everybody slowed down that was driving. Oh, really? I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. There were like four cars in front of me. We all slowed down. But um, wow. But I was nuts. like, I was like waiting. Like it disappeared, and then I was, I was like counting down to how long I would have expected it to hit the ground. And like, okay, we haven't blown up yet. <laughs> you thought maybe there's, it was a nuke? There's not a bomb. It's that's, not a bomb. That's how yeah. screwed up our no, society. No, I really is. did think I, I yeah, it was I, going straight down. It wasn't at an angle, an like, angle this, like that. Yeah. But it so as it turns like a... out, um, people all the way in L.A. to Victoria, uh, Canada, everybody saw it. Everybody saw it on the West Coast. Um, that's neat. So th- it wasn't as close as it appeared. I mean, geez, it was crazy. What's nuts about it is that you were out on the road, you saw it, and then you texted me, and 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 we both just thought, okay, well, that was just something you saw, and that like it wasn't going to be a big deal. And then she woke up in the morning and saw that everybody on Twitter was talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you do hashtag meteor meteorite or whatever, um, let me see if I can. Can find you go back it. to that? Jeez, we already sent that many messages. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, whoa, I just saw something shoot down from the sky. Yeah, and, it, <laughs> and he said, what do you think it is? Are you outside? And I said, I have no idea. I'm driving. And he said, maybe it's space junk. And I said, yeah, it was burning and disappeared. So, <laughs> And like here I am like at home, uh, at home with the kids and me. And Angie's out because she was out scrapbooking. And getting this text message, like, uh, like my thought was, is it a weapon? No, probably not. It must be just junk. But yeah. it was a meteorite. That's really cool. And you shared something with a lot of the West Coast, too. Yep. Yep. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All, All right, right, Andrews. What do we got next on the phone? Um, we have the mail sack. Oh, Are that's you ready good. for that? I actually have a really fancy graphic that introduces the mail sack to the audience. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. It, in fact, it could even include audio if you'd like it to. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the mail sack. Uh, mail sack. <laughs> uh, it is the mail sack. Ma- 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 mail, ma- ma- sack. Ma- mail sack. There we go. See, I got to see it. Yeah. Mail sack. Dun, 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 dun. Mail sack for your faces. JupiterBroadcasting.com slash contact. Choose the faux show from the drop down and send in your email quit to the faux show. Quit sending general. <laughs> could do general too, but yeah. No, quit sending well, we, general. Well, we told people it was okay. And then like, <laughs> I know, yeah. but everybody does it. And so like I get these very heavy Linux ones. Like, why didn't you choose Linux action? We could well? do. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, maybe you should stop doing show titles and do su- subject Linux. Eh, okay. Yeah, All know. right. So yeah, the first thing I want to mention, the mail sack, uh, I meant to mention before it, but we already did the graphic. So September 28th is the next awards. It's the end of this month. Uh, it's the screenshot show and tell. So it's not awards. It's a show and tell. I heard that too. What was that? Do you have something going? No. I don't either. Um, <laughs> maybe it's somebody outside. Yeah. Um, and uh, so send uh, your screenshot or a link and your IRC NIC, a brief explanation. Um, I'm going to try to group your, the submissions. I already have probably 30. <laughs> if, you've, so. if you've got a great setup or a stock setup, we'd love to see a screenshot of it. Messy, clean, whatever it is. We'd like to see how you work, how you do it. Yep, Just but not your desk, okay? No, your, that will your, be a future Your computer awards. desktop. Yeah, the one your on desk, your yeah. On your computer. And the you know screen. what? We... We uh, we receive actual folks that send in their tablets and smartphones too. So yeah. we are not like it doesn't have to be yep. whatever you use as your primary computing device. We're yep. cool with that. Angela at Jupiter Broadcasting dot com. Yeah. Subject, uh, what's the subject? Um, just screenshot awards or screenshot whatever. Screenshot awards. Okay. Yeah, okay. or show and tell. Yep. Um, all right. So the actual mail sack. Bill writes, dear Alan, Angers, Chase, Chris. Oh, thanks. Chris, Matt. Okay. And Mr. Kermergen. Kermergen? I like that you and Alan got first billing in that. That's I cool. Know. Well, it it's appears cool. to be in alphabetical order. Yeah. Well, I thought it's because he was Canadian. But no, all right. it's alphabetical okay. order. He said, it's about time I got on this Reddit bandwagon. Yeah, all right. Using Firefox on my desktop seems to work okay, but right. I decided I needed a good device, uh, or I'm sorry, a good, nice Android app on my phone for it oh. that is not so intrusive. Yeah. Since I know you all visit the site as your preferred um, down of contact and voicing of show desires i was wondering what preferences you all Ah. and the audience like to use for a for a reddit client for android i don't know (laughs) i guess that's what he's talking about yeah maybe a poll uh for the jb fans um or the top two or three guys you or or the top two or three you guys know of off the top of your head it's funny he never Um, said that 
But I think he means app. I think so too. Um, this could be good for a lot of listeners since I imagine the mobile users, listeners, watchers of JB Deliciousness is via mobile. Ooh. Thanks a bajillion if you um, if you can help me in many and many others. All right. I so cannot. I, yeah, right. Anyway, he said in near drunkenness, which is probably oh. why I'm having a hard time reading sure, it. Sure. Bill. <laughs> sure. So I've got a couple of recommendations for you, Bill. Uh, I'll start with, um, so uh, the first thing about Reddit that's really great is the AMAs. You, do you know what an AMA is? Ask me anything. You that's do. another Reddit. Um, you do, yes. So uh, That's another cool Reddit. Maybe if, we should have done a whole show just on Reddit. Actually. All right. We should, well, we maybe. can in the future. Yeah. So Reddit just recently released uh, an actual Reddit-designed application. Reddit made this Reddit huh. AMA app. And uh, this is from Reddit Incorporated. And it is a great, great app for just going deep diving into the AMAs, getting bio information about the person that's, that's running the AMA and all that stuff. So ask me anything. I want to do an AMA. Really? Yeah. We could. I think that'd be cool. I don't know if you do. For an award show? The internet can be mean to women. I don't know if you... Well, well mm-hmm. you don't have to answer. You just yeah. ask me anything and you choose which one's the answer. Right. <laughs> uh, another one that's really good uh, for Android and iOS is Bacon Reader for Reddit. I like Bacon Reader because you can get some widgets on your Reddit desktop. And you were mentioning the inline picture displays. Yeah. It also has a really good tablet view if you have a tablet. Uh, and also, I want to give a mention to Flow. It's one that both Rikai and I have been enjoying recently. Flow is my new go-to one for Android. Flow for Reddit. It's in beta mode right now. And you can see I currently have installed on my <laughs> machine and it's another really awesome cleaner more modern more uh not material design but closer to google's material design with inline <laughs> media comments color formatting things like that is there a bacon reader for vegetarians <laughs> <laughs> see uh, see on this one how it shows the pictures in line too more mm-hmm. like how you like it yep so awesome. uh flow would be my 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 top choice with bacon reader as my secondary and then just for amas get the dedicated reddit ama app so and that's great when there's like a really good AMA going on that you actually want to participate in. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Scott writes, Hey, JB crew, love the show. <laughs> After watching last and hearing that Borderlands 2 is coming to Linux, s- since it is one of the main games I play and I can just dual boot into Windows and other for other games, I have decided to switch my main PC to Ubuntu GNOME. Um, love hearing this. The only thing that is holding me back is Photoshop and Illustrator. I tried GIMP and it just uh. did not work for me. And all my clients are on the Adobe train. So it is um, it is something I need. I was wondering, since most of the apps running on Windows are available on Mac nowadays, is there a program on Linux that is like Wine but for Mac applications? And would it be a better solution um, than Wine since Mac is based on Unix? No. <laughs> there is not, um, and that's uh, that's you know really kind of the, the toolkit that uh, macOS applications are written with, and the underlying uh, infrastructure they require. Uh, whereas Wine is more of a FMA, foamy anything. Foamy anything, I like that. <laughs> um, so what you here's what uh, what was his name? Uh, Scott. Scott. Here's what I would do, and unfortunately, unless you were listening to Tech Talk today, and then you probably already caught this. Uh, Crossover was just having a sale for a pretty good discount, like 50% off. And what Crossover Office is, is a really nice graphical interface to installing Windows applications. Now, they support up to the CS version, so not CS3, not CS4, right? But they support up to the CS of Adobe Photoshop and a few other applications like that, and they run really well. It gives you an entire graphical interface to installing the applications. It puts them in what they call bottles, which are isolated environments, so that way you could update a separate Windows application and not affect another Windows application. So that's really nice. It actually makes them a little more stable in that sense than they are on Windows themselves. And Crossover gives you a GUI to doing all these installations on top of that. You're not going to get anywhere with the Mac versions. That's not going to happen. Think about it from this standpoint, right? Mac OS X implements its own display server that is completely unlike anything else that's available on Linux. Carbon and Cocoa, there's nothing like that available on Linux. Core audio, core video, these things that the, the Adobe applications require in OS X, there's nothing like that on Linux. It doesn't mean there's not equivalence on Linux, but there's not those things on any other platform than Mac OS X. So the applications for Mac OS X, even though they're based on, like, on, on, even though they're running with a free BSD core underneath, they're based on all of this abstraction stuff that is only available on the Mac platform, whereas Wine has done a full re-implementation, well, not a full, but a, a very complete re-implementation of the Windows API. And Crossover, when you buy Crossover Office, you're using legitimate Wine, and the revenue that you send to Crossover goes back into the Wine project, too. So it's really good from that standpoint as well. Your brain is full of stuff. That was a lot. 
But I hope it I hope it helps because yeah, I Jeez. I run Photoshop under <laughs> Linux that way. That's how I run Photoshop under Linux. Okay, there you go. All right, the last question, last mail sack. Mail sack comes from Hen- Henrique A. Henrique or Henrique? Henrique. Um, he writes, "Hi, Hi, I have a little question. How you co- how did you communicate with Richard Stallman in the interview using a phone call, mm. VoIP, or what?" Great question. So we first offered Skype, which, which uh, and do you know do you know what Richard Stallman said? It's negative in the freedom dimension. I imagine that is true. Yeah. So uh, we went phone, um, and 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 even though unquestionably, the phone systems because he was actually in another country at the time. Oh the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the phone systems unquestionably use proprietary software to manage the calls and the switches. <laughs> right. Right. I mean right. they do. Right. Uh, and we mentioned that to him. We're like, well, so if we're doing a phone call, aren't you concerned that the phone is being routed? And he's like. I have no control over what other people use. All I can control is what I use, and I opt not to use proprietary software. And he said, he explained it to me. He said, you see, what I, the way I feel is that proprietary software. Proprietary software is not ethical. So he opted to use the phone where there was no proprietary software. What the intermediaries between us and him were using is outside of his control. He opted not to use proprietary software. Uh-huh. So the chat room says RMS on Skype would be the freaking day. <laughs> yeah, it, it, here's how it worked, uh, Ange. So first of all, we were just sitting around, and then we got a Skype call, and we said, uh, oh, geez, right here live on the show, we have a Skype call. So we said, hello, this is uh, Chris and uh, Brian, and he said, and the value of this is negative. And he hung up and called us on the phone. <laughs> really? No. Oh, okay. Was, <laughs> that was a good saying, like, Yeah. That was live. That was. That he was... didn't actually use Skype. No. <laughs> um, uh, so the other comment that I read was uh, Goat Herder was always uh, warned that Reddit was like 4chan. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. where you just never want to go. Well, and I think you view it more as like a forum, like a message yeah, board. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do, yeah. I could see. And it is, it is kind of those things. Mm-hmm. It's those things come together with, yeah. So, yeah, you don't have to be... There are some fun things on there. Just, you know, keep it limited. Yeah, you know, Reddit is... <sighs> Like anything that gets big, it starts to suck after a while. So, like mm-hmm. a lot of the default subreddits suck. Yeah. Um, but then so there, unsubscribe from yeah. those. But yeah. then there are like the independent subreddits that are really awesome. The mm-hmm. smaller ones and some of the not so smaller ones that are still really good. So, and Reddit have, is not one thing. We have quite a few subreddits. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Unfilter, Linux Action Unfiltered. Show, TechSnap. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, Linux Action Show, Unfiltered, TechSnap, Coda Radio, and there's like a general Jupiter one that we don't use very much, mm-hmm. but it's like four mm-hmm. or five. Yeah. All right. Well, that is it for this episode of the Faux Show. Um, Faux Show Awards coming up. Your desktop submissions, Angela yep. Jupiter Broadcasting dot com. We're mm-hmm. live on Sundays yep. after Linux Action Show. Jupiter Broadcasting dot com slash calendar. It's the after last. And uh, you could also follow Ange on Twitter to get updates about the show. She is Twitter dot com slash a n g e r z z as Alan says z. Yep. Yeah. All, All right. right. <laughs> That's it. We will see you next week. Did you enjoy this photo show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. It would be my first time, Oh, my right? God. I just got an idea for a whole new series of shows. Oh, like, I whole show new you. series. Yeah, Gosh. we can do a whole series. You know, okay. Internet. My face. I, I, I clicked my face first. I know the yeah, buttons. Yeah, oh, sure. I yeah, know yeah. the buttons. No. I, it, it's it only to, 100. It went to my face first. It's only 179 first. episodes. <laughs> Why would you know? It's been the same buttons for the entire 179? time. 179? How many is it? 193. It has been a hundred. It has been the same okay, exact button layout for 193 face. episodes. Every okay, no, you push uh, the no. button. You push the button. Okay, everything there we go. is, is awesome. always is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything is cool. You work at a team. Everything is always. How can this be a new show? What? Everything. Dude, okay, says the person who came home last night. He's like, I think I have a show idea. I know. <laughs> it wasn't, I know. Well. But I it mean, was a good show idea. I know. Yeah, see, that's how it works. You get in the zone. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, September 14th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room? Look at this, Ange. Over here on the screen that I have by myself over here. I got them full screen on it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> like all... What? <laughs> Do over. <laughs> you cannot show the secret sauce. In the first few seconds <laughs> of the show. Jesus. That's okay. I didn't have the chat room full screen on my screen either, so I was totally I know. I was like, here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was good. <laughs> I, like, I like the instincts. Oh, my gosh. What is this? What is this? <laughs> well, 
<laughs> let me wait, let me. <laughs> I'm working with a freaking amateur, says Rakai. All right. Oh, man, I can't believe you did the dance. Hello, everybody, and welcome to... <laughs> Your face is all red. Remember how you danced to fill time? <laughs> 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 All right. Totes ready. Okay. I, I just I've just been crying and my I face know, is totally ready. Yeah, it's 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 apparent. You ready? Yeah. No, I still have tears in my eyes. Okay, yeah, now I'm ready. Get ready, lower third. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of the Faux Show. Today is Sunday, September seventeenth. No it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Not only is it right there, but you said it in the thing, too. Oh. Maybe you shouldn't have messed up my intro. Well, at least you didn't say February. <clears throat> well, okay, hold on. <laughs> if, you just have, if you get stuck, I'll just do this. <laughs> I think I need to pee. Just do it. I, I, need, to, I need a couple of minutes to calm down anyways, because I'm laughing. Oh, she's going to go use my bathroom. Well, there we go. Her and Q5Sis will be the only other two that have ever used my bathroom. It's the it's the other switch. No, the other one. Yeah, it's on the floor. It's a guy's bathroom. I don't have it set up for ladies. Oh, I use the toilet paper like twice a week. Well, because I poop other places. <laughs> I would tell you that. 